Unfortunately, over 90% of Etsy sellers are not using AI properly to help boost their sales. So on this video, I want to show you 10 practical ways you can use things like ChatGPT to help you boost and increase your revenue. And guys, my name's AJ. I've got a channel with over 800 videos all dedicated to help you make money selling digital products on AI and making money online. And if you're interested in any of that, please hit the like, subscribe, smash that notification bell for more videos in your feed. And guys, listen, AI is here to stay and we have to embrace it. We have to use it. We have to actually utilize it properly to help make those sales and Guys, there is no better time than now to actually use AI. It still is in its infancy and actually most people are not using it properly. In fact, most people don't know how to use AI. So why don't you stay ahead of the game and learn some of these? So I want to show you these 10 practical, fantastic ways you can actually start using ChatGPT to help you increase those sales. Check this out. Right. So this is in no particular order, but the first one I've got on my list, which is probably the most obvious, is using ChatGPT to actually help you increase your SEO, make your SEO better, optimizing your titles and your tags. And, you know, ChatGPT can literally help you generate those tags and titles. What it can do is if you write the right prompt is it will go away and look at your specific niche, look at exactly what you're trying to sell, look at similar, maybe bestsellers in your niche, in your product and look and see what keywords are working, what keywords are pushing other listings. And then it can create and craft a fantastic title with great tags for you. Now, obviously you need to make sure you write a correct prompt with the right parameters, making sure you also include how many characters that they need to include remember also with with the guidelines for now remember these recent guidelines with titles make sure that they sound like they've been written as in in a book so they're legible they're not repetitive but including those fantastic keywords that will help push the listing up in those higher pages so definitely the first probably the most important thing that it can help you so before you actually jump on your listing and start typing up what it is actually after creating your design after doing your research make sure firstly that you ask chat gpt to maybe go to etsy.com and have a look at your niche and what keywords are working at the minute and then obviously hopefully it can create an example of a fantastic title with some tags for you it can also generate a really great description something that will help sell the product because don't forget a lot of descriptions are not the best on etsy.com you know it and i know it now you want it to craft a fantastic description that will actually entice the buyer to actually read about the product and in fact you know to write it in such a way that will help convert the listing also not only adding that technical information the important information about why they need to buy it what's great about it and some technical information but also really help convert those sales every part of your listing should be working towards one thing which is helping to convert sales whether it be your title tags your listing images your pricing whatever it is it's all working in sync in the same direction guys next one on my list number two trend and niche research now this is very very underrated right but to actually go and study trends and niches it's not just about studying what etsy is doing but it's all also about what's happening in the wider scene on tiktok on pinterest on instagram you should be looking at all these different places to see what is trending at the minute because you can be sure that if something's trending on tiktok something's working there then it's going to be coming over to etsy if it's not already there so actually go and study those fantastic accounts that I've got great design ideas go and see what views they're getting what kind of interaction they're getting comments likes try to get onto the Etsy design before the wave comes it's always very important to come but you can also get ChatGPT to do that research for you as I said get ChatGPT to study those fantastic designs and trends that are up and coming and you know you can be very very practical with your prompt you can be very specific and say I want you to go away on TikTok and see and find out what design trends are happening right now in the clip art niche for example what things are trending within clip arts what things are trending within t-shirt designs wherever it is that you sell be specific with chat gpt this is the key thing about with ai you have to be specific you have to say exactly what it is that you want but trends and niche research is massive because if you're able to get in before the actual wave
wave or the avalanche of all these sellers jumping on the bandwagon come into play, then you will be ahead of the game. So it's really, really important to be first, to be quick, to be early, to be one of the pioneers, even starting the trends. Imagine starting the trends, then you're on an absolute winner. So get ChatGPT to go and do that. Next one on my list is product description writing. Now, even though I've mentioned product description briefly in terms of number one, but I can't emphasize this enough because this is so, so underrated. Product description writing is probably one of the most underrated things on the listing, even though it has a massive bit of real estate. I call it real estate because it has a massive chunk on the listing, which actually has a lot of rich keywords which you can utilize and put in there. And it really will help to convert those sales if it's written in the right way so that the buyer feels like it's just a no brainer that they must buy this product. So use this product description to really help push your listing and entice your listing to be clicked and bought and converted so that the buyer really really wants it so it has to be in a compelling way and guys you don't need to actually hire anyone anymore and most people don't anyway you've got ai here chat gpt that can craft for you a fantastically compelling product description that the buyer can just can't say no to right the next thing and remember this is in no particular order images and mock-ups right it has a huge bit of real estate on the listing image. You've got the main image, which is massive bit of real estate. In fact, it's probably the first thing that catches your eye. Now, I will add a little caveat, not a caveat. I'll add a little something else to this is that Etsy themselves say that having a video on your main image actually helps convert better. So if you don't have a video, what I mean by video, it can be just a power, a presentation, a kind of slideshow, if you like, you can do on Canva. It doesn't have to be a video video per se, but it can be, it will actually help convert because when you hover with your cursor on those images, once you see that animation, it will just attract you. So definitely try and do that. But aside from that, you can get ChatGPT to create some fantastic mock-ups for your product that you're selling. You don't need photography. You don't need to go and hire somebody who's a professional photographer. You don't need a studio. You don't need any of that. You just need a prompt. And this prompt, if crafted correctly, can be absolutely gold where you can actually have a fantastic mock-up AI generated mock-up which looks so so good and it'll help attract and get those sales really quickly so it's so important that you start working on this start practicing this and you know what you can get chat gpt to look at those fantastic etsy listings that have some great mock-ups and to study those and look at the sort of elements that they've included chat gpt can do everything i'm telling you now guys number five on my list is shop branding right now shop branding is again another underestimated thing look at your shop your shop brand is so paramount so key because look customers come over to your listing and then they go over to your brand your shop and you want something that's going to be attractive that's actually going to help convert more sales and the way to do that is to have a shop brand that has all your design and your branding and your colors and your designs all speaking the same thing all looking the same way all looking like it comes from one brand and then you can also include many things like really good shop bio announcement policies written in a really fantastic way but remember chat gpt can go and study fantastic shops within your niche and help you craft something fantastic give you some tips and ideas on the branding and also help craft some of those great bits of writing that you need to include in your shop etsy store so definitely a big one to do number six now unfortunately look customers are always right i don't care what you say the customer in this case is always right they may be wrong but they're right and what i mean by that is you need to treat them like they're always right you need to treat them with respect you need to speak to them in a fantastic polite empathetic way you need to have some great way of actually you know replying to them be quick remember be very responsive with those customers don't delay it ac algorithm doesn't like delay they want you to be quick so remember actually be really quick whether it be refund complaints or you know requests whatever it is they're asking for your response is very very important to etsy to the algorithm and for you to actually get your listings pushed so remember that and you can get chat gpt to actually craft those fantastically written you know some people are not great at writing you know i'm not the best at writing myself you know but chat gpt can really help craft those amazing responses so always 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 ask chat gpt to write something in a really polite empathetic you know way and it will honestly it will do wonders 
Right, next thing, number seven is upsell and cross-sell ideas. This is so important, guys. Remember, if you're selling digital products, especially like things like clip arts, you need to be doing bundles. You need to be selling batches, bundles, because you don't need to create more work. You can create a design, a listing, that's fine. But then when you create a bundle on a separate listing, right, where you're grouping a few designs together into one listing and having a price on it, honestly, it goes a long way because people find value. The other thing I did and I spoke about in another one of my videos is actually sell your whole store sell access to your designs on your store this is massive guys there are etsy sellers that actually just makes most of their money on the access of the store more than any of their listings and i've shown proof time and time again i've got over 800 videos guys and this is a no-brainer this is a must if you're selling digital products you must do this today okay go away and do this <laughs> but honestly it really does help Number eight, marketing content creation. Guys, listen, you got to be writing your, you got to have your social media firstly. Th this is the age where there's a lot of competition. Etsy sellers are fighting, get those sales, right? There's millions of sellers out there, guys. You have to stand out. You need social media. You need to be posting on TikTok, Instagram, you know, Pinterest, and you need to be posting on a regular basis. You need to be, you know, promoting your store. I'll even say that if you can start YouTube, that's even fantastic. It really will help you stand out. And then and you can actually really get your link in your store. You can get that traffic coming in. You know, if you get a viral video, it's unbelievable. You get so many people coming to your store. Promote your designs. Yeah, you actually show your designs. Show your amazing designs on these social media and show people where they can buy it. It's as simple as that. It's you're not doing any more information. You're not doing anything else. You've got your design that you created that you're selling on Etsy and you're literally posting it on TikTok, posting it on Instagram, posting it on Pinterest, having it on Pinterest, and then you've got the link to your store. It's not extra work, guys. It really isn't. And in fact, there are these um, places, hubs, where you can actually just post it once and it'll post it on all different social media. There's various platforms where you can do that, guys. So it really is very easy. Number nine is data analysis. You need to review your sales data. You need to understand what's best set, what's a bestseller, what's underperforming, what opportunities there are. You need to look at adjusting pricing sometimes if you're seeing something not working. If you're seeing something working, you need to double down. You need to do variations of a design. If you see a design working, then double down. Do more listings with different variations and you will see those sales increase because you know what works. You know what people are interacting with. You know what's a favorite. You know what people like, right? You know what people are clicking on. So understand and review your sales your data analysis on a regular basis so many people don't do that get ChatGPT to go and review your sales get ChatGPT to go and study what's going on in your store and i'm telling you now you'll be shocked by the analysis Number 10 is product idea generation. Now, sometimes we get a bit stale and we don't know what else, what other designs to do, what other things to create, other products. So do a bit of brainstorming. Get ChatGPT to go and brainstorm some ideas, trends, find some gaps in the market, you know, within specific times of the year for Q4 possibly it could be. I don't know, Halloween, or it could be even Valentine's Day, other times of the year, St. Patrick's Day, wherever it is, try to find something, a little gap, a little niche. So you should be working constantly, but get ChatGPT to do that. Tell it what you want. You, what you have to do with ChatGPT is craft a prompt that is very, very clear. Let it understand what you're about. The more you talk to ChatGPT, by the way, the more information you give it, the more it understands what you're about, and the more it'll derive information from past conversations and understand what it is it's trying to help you with. So get in the habit of of talking to chat gpt get in the habit of asking it on on ways on boosting sales on things like i mentioned the 10 important things that i think will really really help you boost your sales if you do them properly but go away get chat gpt to start looking at your title your tags your product description as a priority now what i would do is remember do this on your new listings start working on your new listings in this way you know this is what I suggest you do. Remember, for your titles, you need to write it in, under the new guidelines as well. So start doing this with your new listings so you can actually see the difference between your old listings and these new listings in the new style, okay? But remember, these things are gonna absolutely skyrocket your sales if you implement these properly and if you get ChatGPT to help you. Now, Etsy is all about AI. Etsy has AI all over it. So why not get AI to actually help you too anyway guys i hope you like the video remember if you did like the video please hit a like subscribe smash the notification bell don't forget to check out my stand store and yeah take care and i'll see you in the next video